This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Shouldn't this boss have been fought while we were in the previous section? Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Soul Blazer. In the last episode, we went to the Mountain of Lost Souls and found a group of, well, I guess not really children, maybe like a halfling or a spiritual race, but they only live one year, so they have to uh, get pretty busy pretty quickly before time runs out. So, I wonder what this says about, about us as a society and group with uh, uh, creatures like this. But anyway, we can talk to these people, but uh, we'll talk to them later. Let's go back to the mountain for now and continue on to our next section, Ice Fields of Lenore. I often dream of darkness city nights of my lady and my lost Lenore. Or something like that. It's been forever since I've read The Raven, so quote it nevermore. It's a good it's good uh um poem. Uh kinda like a interesting atmosphere. What does it mean? I don't know, ravens are jerks, I guess. <laughs> anyway. What the uh I see. Yeah, more green blobs, we've got some uh, red wizards here of Thay. No one dead, but oh, I don't know why I walked into them like that. Stop walking around like a junk bla uh, drunk blazer, even though I don't drink. Someday, you know, it's three o'clock somewhere, I guess. But not like back in the SNES days where the censoring was like, nope, no, no alcohol beverages ever existed. Now we gained a level 16, nice. Let's get a treasure here. Get a strange bottle. Don't go finding strange bottles all over the place, all willy nilly. Anyway, yeah, there's a spot here, so. Uh, bats. Just got hit with that. Now, I could get a. Something. I could have uh, gotten a new spell here pretty soon, but I just don't need it that badly. The light arrow will work fine, but I'll show it off here in a moment. But anyway, what's this chest have? A rotator. Yeah, that's the spell I was talking about. Uh, so, what the rotator does is you press the. Uh, action button or the spell button and we yeah it just does a ring of circle of so it basically follows the soul or your light node or whatever you want to call it and it follows it and uh leaves a string of uh, attacks in its way so so that's pretty nice i probably still prefer the light arrow but anyway we got some uh, statues here uh, earth i think they're like called earth statues or something like that if i recall let me take a look at those uh Let's see. Hmm. I guess I don't have the, the name for these things. Well, they are, they're basically just, uh, 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 what they do is those, uh, they make pillars of, uh, actually, I think they're called ice makers now that I think about it. Cause all they do is they, they make, um, spikes appear out of the ground. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, and they do respawn after a while. Uh, yeah, fire from the red wizards. So what a surprise. I like how enemies back in the day were color-coded. But what do we get here? We released a boy into prison, apparently. Oh, man. Or juvie. Whatever that is. I don't know, man. Depending on the country you're from. From where I'm from, if you're, I think, under 15 or younger than 15, you get sent to Juvie Hall, which is basically a light prison. You know, the only time a, a young, uh, uh, someone under age ever gets sent to prison, if it's something like super heinous that they just can't, like, ignore, and that's very rare, though. They usually do the whole, children don't know any better, young people don't know any better, so they'll, uh, they'll give them the benefit of the doubt despite the heinous crime. But, but anyway, yeah, that boy's a juvie. Huh, that was weird. Alright, oh. Oh, yeah, I think there was a waterfall there before, so. It's kind of weird how the uh, ice maker really doesn't, uh, you know, kind of hit me in the right spot, but, yeah, whatever. Anyway, we released another person, the snail Nom, into jail. Well, this was what you get. You get what you deserve, whatever it was. I don't know what they deserved. Anyway. Yeah, those guys are pretty easy to avoid. You'd have to pretty much not be trying to get hit with the, the ice spikes. Oops, wrong button. I was gonna use the rotator spell. But I, said, I, th I still find the light arrow more useful. But either way. Alright, nice. Ooh. Time to be finished. Ha ha ha. I think that's it, actually. I think anything else I can't actually 
reach right now. Oh wait, no, there's this one. That's right, there's this one. Actually, this rotator spell is actually not too bad against the bats. Because usually the bats will run right into your uh, light sphere, or at least ju uh, just close enough to where the rotator spell will actually work. One more. It's good bat. I take to defeat the ice maker. There's only one. One green thing there? What? Okay, well, anyway. I'm watching the world. Here, take this. 400 experience? 400 experience. Alright. Well, we'll stay. We don't need it. Don't need it. Not yet, anyway. We will soon. We're almost at the boss, actually. This area is quite short. Or maybe I'm just pretty thorough in this section. It's hard to say. I'll just say it's the former. Ah! Why just stand in there? I just want to dance with the red the red wizards on the pale moonlight. That's how it works, right? I could just send out a ad in the in the paper. People still do that, right? Send out in the papers, or do they do it all online now? It's hard to say. Everything is always changing, man. I can't handle it. I'm getting too old for this. Anyway, let's keep going. Yes, there is quite a few. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I. Underground Lake Loon is where we're at right now. Eleven monster uh, holds. Ooh. Well, well then. Come on. Uh, okay. Okay, that was weird. Is my copy glitched? I'm not sure. Hey, we released a mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. It happens every once in a while. Sometimes I can't stand in the right spot for whatever reason. Acting all weird and jangly, I guess. I don't know. Oops. Yeah, the only problem with doing this is I lose out on the gems, but eh. I mean, I've got the magic armor anyway, so. And that gives me uh, half, half gem consumption anyway, so it's not costing me that much. Don't you guys get sick spinning around like that all the time? I know, I'd get ill. Especially when I was a kid. You know, you always like spinning around as a kid doing silly stuff like that until you find out it makes you nauseous. Oh man, I'm nauseous, I'm nauseous. There more? Alright, fine. Yeesh. Now I got the other wizards. The purple ones. You guys are splitting all over the place. Not fair. I was at the just the three though. Okay, if it, it finishes you off faster. Strange. Ah, green goo. I don't like green goo. It makes me gooey. And no one likes to be gooey. All right, what does this get us? Release grandma. Grandma, grandpa. Grandma doesn't even know what's going on here. She's senile. Sad days. Yeah, you don't even get enough time to... I do have the uh, power burst. Yeah, th I thought I did. I was like, I had to feed him rather quickly, but I wasn't sure if I if I was being optimal enough, you know. And obviously be careful about losing too much, because if you do have to get another medical herb, we'll actually have to go back to St. Ellis, Ellis or whatever to uh, do it, so keep that in mind. Because no one here gives us... Uh, Medical herbs outside the the one or two treasure chests or whatever. All right, path, 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 path. I say, path, 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 path. path. Sha, 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 sha. <laughs> right in my field of attacking vision, you fool. I guess I didn't think otherwise though. Now oh, more bats. All right. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more because of the Lucky Blade. I'm getting a lot more, uh, uh, gem drops. I can afford to spam gems anyway, because really, gem, uh, I mean, magic is mainly used for, uh, fighting the random enemies in the game, because, uh, oh yeah, that's the Master's place, so, yeah, we're at the final boss if we've already got the Master's thing. But most, uh, most bosses are immune to magic or take very little damage. So there's almost no re- That's kind of the sad thing is you can't really use magic on the bosses, which I guess I know why is because you can probably just build up enough gems to just spam magic to finish them off. Which 
most of the bosses in the game aren't that difficult anyway, but still. All right, released a grand, another grandma. Does that grandpa have two grandmas? Or he's, you know, got multiple uh, lovely grandmas? Who knows? I think we've got, the only things we have are one more monster hold, but where is this thing? Hmm. Perhaps we should go back to town to find out. Mayhaps, mayhaps. Yeah. Anyway. Oops, actually, I was, I don't know why I went back. I was, I was gonna go back to town. That was the point. And anyway, all right, now we can talk to, to everyone here, so, and heal up, of course. All right, let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna win this race. Okay. Oh, y'all gonna win the race? Well, how do we get the race started? We're waiting for the race to start. Well, if you wanna get the race started, talk to this girl right here. All the jockeys are here. The racetrack is finally finished. We are going to start the race. Why don't you come along? I mean, doing the race doesn't do anything. It's just there for just... I guess just the whole point of the game, I guess. On your mark? Well, everyone's on this mark. Okay, are you ready? Get set, go! And they just race around the track. I have no time to talk. I'm gonna lose the race. Yeah, if you talk to one, then they actually slows them down. Alright. And that's pretty much it, so. These creatures grow very fast. They become adults within half a year. Get married, have children, and pass away in a year. They never feel their lives are too short. They enjoy each moment. I guess everyone could learn a lesson from this group of people. You know, enjoy your life while you can. But yeah, those guys just kind of run around in a circle. Not much really to it. There's passage to each other around the lake. Loon. Yep, thanks for that. I already figured that out, but uh, appreciate it nonetheless. Can you believe this old man used to be a child half a year ago? The time is very important. <laughs> ah, old man sleeping. You know what that means. We gotta evade his privacy. We place the dream on uh, on the old man's head. He'll be none the wiser. I'll not leave you. Go off to other places, I promise. As proof of my promise, I buried my belongings in the Aurora Ridge. Magic armor, 50 gems, and a metal globe. I hope someone will find them. Why well, are dead before even talking to you, so that's kind of pointless. It's just supposed to remind you if you missed, missed it, just to double check that place. Oops, I must have fallen asleep. I was dreaming of my childhood, which was probably a couple months ago at best. At least with the way this race works. So, it's kind of sad, really, to live it a, with a race. Well, like I said, if you did have to live a year, what would you do? You know what I mean? There's a person over there. Well, there are no actual bad people. I guess it's just a punishment room. Uh, perhaps phrasing, maybe? Anyway, there's a sword called Lucky Blade somewhere in Lenol. It is said that monsters will leave larger gems. I already got that, thanks. Hmm. Huh. Can't really talk to these people. They're just kind of behind bars. Hmm. Huh. Okay, well. Blazer placed... Oh, this guy was sleeping. Huh. Whoops. I, I knew he was sleeping, but I forgot to actually unequip it, so... Anyway, yeah. This is my hometown. The mountain ones have carried my spores, and now we live there. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the, you would just kind of this easy sound. Make sure you don't walk around in a dream or you'll get lost. That's how we get back. We'll be able to talk to these people eventually, but not right now. So, all right, we'll have to remember to check that place out. So, so we can see what's there. Uh, anyway, let's keep looking around. How about this guy? Weak, weak. The snail always wants me to walk with it. Where should we go today? Let's go. This is our vehicle. Yeah, they just they just kind of go around the lake there. They don't really say anything different. Oh, wait, no, we already talked to these people. They like looking at each other. Gross. Make sure you search a little very carefully. If you move too fast, you may overlook things. Really? Please save the king. Please save the king. There's a king around here? Where is, where, where is he? Where, where, where does the king go? Huh? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't believe you. Huh. Oh, anyway. My wife was able to use magic at one time. Oh, really? Oh, honey, I can still use magic. Look! Ah! Thanks, lady, I guess. I'll tell you a secret. If you see a sleeping mushroom, return to the same place you saw it in its dreams. Okay. I... Ah! 
Stop doing that! You see? Ah, jeez. Freaking me out, man. God. Just, just surprising, surprising. Oh yeah, this guy has the same dialogue from before, so nothing, nothing new there. So, all right. I think that's it for all the people we can talk to. So, for now, anyway. So, uh, okay. So let's go back to that one. Oh wait, we could go back to the master's spot because we could just tell go back that way. So, I don't know I was about to walk that way originally. So. Where is this thing that the uh, mushroom told us to go? Hmm? Where? Where? Was it around here somewhere? Actually, I think it was a bit farther down now that I think about it, so. Because, yeah, that's the way the boss right. Actually, I could d fight the boss, like, right now. It's not that difficult. Actually, it's kind of true. It's actually not that hard. Yeah, I guess that's it. Weird. There's gotta be something else around here that we're missing. What the? The emblem F! What the? That's weird. Yeah, we found F. Emblem never F here. So, yeah, you're probably wondering what the whole thing is about. So, that was like weird. Uh. Okay. Let's see. There's still the, the one monster layer around here. Where? Where are you at? There you are. Oh, yeah, this got a lot too. So. Oops. Come on. We'll just wait. We'll just wait for the bat party to begin. I don't know what a bat party's like, but, you know, sounds like fun. I guess. If you like bugs and running around in circles all day. Or flying around in circles, I mean. There we go. There, what else we get? Release the snail. Huh. Interesting. How do we get to that guy, though? Hmm. Yeah, no more monster layers. Let's go back to town before we fight the boss and see what we missed. Perhaps we missed a thing or two. Yeah, there's a snail around here. So, what the? Ah. How did you get in? Yeah, here, I'll give you this. Blazer received the Master's Emblem E. All right. Yeah, so we got two of the uh, emblem things here, so... Alright. Alright, I need to switch to the power bracelet. I mean, I don't have to, but... So yeah, we should have, uh, D... Let's see, uh... C, D, E, F. C... D, E, F. Hmm. Weird. But, yeah, we have all of them? Or not all of them. We have a lot of them, but... Alright. Let's go ahead and fight the boss at this place. And free the king! All right, who's this guy gonna be? Is it gonna see? It's a mountain of lost souls, right? So it's gonna be some golem type of creature, not not a not a person we could have fought in the previous area that was clearly water. Ah, it's Poseidon. Okay. Well, well, all right. There goes the there goes the no damage run. So all right, it's actually pretty easy not to get hit by this guy. Um, I just I just kind of had a brain moment there, so I got hit twice. I know how to not take any damage to this guy. I'll do a no-hit run here in a moment, so. I was just wasn't paying attention, so. Yeah, you can actually not get hit on these couple squares right here, uh, depending on where it is, because the way that the the, uh, the fireballs are placed are kind of inaccurate for some weird reason. I don't know why they don't work, but yeah, Poseidon will just kind of just run back and forth, run back so you don't get hit with his uh, ability. Wait. Oh, I forgot to equip the... I thought he equipped the power brace. I must have forgotten to activate it. I was like, why is he taking so long to fight? This guy's so so easy to hit. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I took one hit. Boo. All right, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, one more go and he'll be dead. So, I mean, he'll be knocked out. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, besides really, really easy. Getting a no-hit runs like I just made a mistake on him. But yeah, he had 70 HP, he drops 400 experience, and he has the he has that tried thing that shoots to the fireballs. So you want to uh, uh, 
go down or at least move just a little bit to the left or right depending on what it is he'll thrust a spear but if you hit sit right in the middle of him and do this thrust he will hit you with that and then the double fireball if you are here or here it won't hit you because the it's either the the hit circle hit box is bugged or something like that i'm not sure it doesn't work but if you go here he will hit you so what you would do is just back up here and either move up or down just avoid his fireball so all right, you're so weak I can do it without getting hit. Let's find out. I don't know why I moved there. I didn't need it. Actually, did. Okay, I remember to quit the power bracelet this time. I am so smart. I am so smart. S M R T. I mean S M A R T. So, yeah, it's it's really easy to fight this guy. I just I just made a, I just I wasn't paying attention and made a brief mistake. So, oh well. Yeah, I don't know why on the middle and right things it's bugged where the fireball doesn't hit you like it's supposed to couldn't really tell you why yeah that's supposed to hit me but it doesn't and no i'm not using any like weird codes or anything like that it's just a case of just i just figured this out while playing but yep yeah, there we go man flawless victory well are the rest of them gonna be this easy i hope so Anyway, release the king. Hail to the king, baby. King, are you okay? I guess he is okay. Well, let's go see the king then. Well, why is he why is he a king? He doesn't have crap all over him, that's for sure. He's probably got a nice sword too, I don't know, but he won't give not like he'll give us that sword, but let's talk to him anyway, so. All right, does anyone actually have anything to say now that the Poseidon's dead? Nope. I think not. Oh, well. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, like I said, after people have a new dialogue after certain events, kind of becomes rare after later on, which is fine. I mean, this game's more of an action game anyway. It's not meant to have a deep storyline or multiple unique characters or anything like that. They're just have sort of simple concepts and, you know, to, to uh, move the the story along so anyway yeah, let's go see the king about our situation here so ah, nice digs you got here although who gets voted for king since you only live for a year i'm a magician well just because you say it doesn't mean it's true if you collect the master's three symbols i will call the phoenix the phoenix huh so it'll rise back from its ashes or something like that hmm. interesting i am a magician if you collect the master's three symbols, I'll call the phoenix. Oh, you both did the same thing. Okay. You saved me. Thank you very much. I treated the snail, Dom, very poorly. I would not trust all of the things Dom was saying. He told me monsters would invade our town. I put him in prison. Whoa, kind of extreme, don't you think? Is this the whole boy cried wolf type of situation? So he threw him in prison because he kept saying it? See, Dom, I believe you will find what you're looking for. By the way, have you heard of the Phoenix? Yes, these two old ladies kept telling me about it. Whoever collects the Master's three symbols, the Red Hot Beer, the Red Hot Ball, and the Red Hot Stick. Uh, okay. Shall have the Phoenix help them? That person will inherit the strongest power. If you collect them all, bring them to me. Okay, well, we get, at least the game has us come back to old areas at least every once in a while. Yeah, I already did that, dude. Yeah, I got the Master's Emblems because of that, or the uh, Secret Emblems. All right, let's go back to prison and talk to Nam and see what he has to say. So you were telling people about uh, monsters and no one believed you. Sorry, buddy. I mean, it's just a bit of bad luck, I guess. So, yeah, now everyone's freed from prison. Even though no one ever talked about the king imprisoning anyone, not like the Queen of uh, St. L's. So, but... There's a house in the desert to the southeast. Mechanical monsters that cannot be defeated by normal swords exist there. Uh-oh. That's gonna be tough. My name is Dom. I used to live at Dr. Leo's house. Dr. Leo was asked by King Magrid to build a machine that would call upon evil. Because he refused, he was taken to Magrid Castle. He secretly gave us four stones and told us to run away. Those stones are keys to the world of evil. The other stones are Dr. Leo's laboratory, the castle of Magrid. Here, take this silver stone and hurry to the laboratory where Dr. Leo was held. All right, let's take a look at our thing. 
yeah, the Silverstone, World of Evil. So we have six of those. So we have four. So the last two are Dr. Leo's, uh, um, the gang has spoken of you. The sale, they will stay over there is Nom. Nom, nom, nom. But it, yeah, now we have the four, st uh, stones to, uh, get to the World of Evil. And it looks like, uh, Dr., uh, Dr. Leo's laboratory seems to be our next target. But, uh, are we prepared to deal with whatever science Dr. Leo has to offer? And what would it, uh, if they say that his ha house is filled with the, to the brim of mechanical creatures, are we going to be suffering from a case of gremlins? Or are we too old for this technology? Find out next time in the next episode of Soul Blazer. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.